Bond. James Bond. How's it going, y'all? It's your boy Moose, back with another video. Hope you guys have been well. Wearing black, as usual. It's like my go-to, you know. It's getting hot now, which kind of sucks, because you can't lay in the heat, right? Anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about leather jackets, specifically from H&M, but um, yeah, I've been wanting one for a while, and I just think they're really, really cool, and they have that cool Rockstar vibe, which, I like, I like the Rockstar vibe, I already dress kind of like that, you know, with the fedora and like really skinny jeans and Chelsea, like, you know what I mean, like the tan and the black and like, so I think that would fit me very well and I, ha I think I have the right look for wearing um, leather jackets uh, because they're not definitely for everyone, like some people look too preppy wearing them, you know, it's just not like for everyone, but if you can pull it off, like, man, there's so many different outfits you can come up with it. But yeah, for me, it's been very hard to find one because they usually just fit me really weird. Um, I've looked into All Saints, and I'm highly considering um, ordering one from them because their quality is really good. But uh, that's that's another story. Today I want to talk about specifically H&M. I'll show you the jacket right here. So I got this bad boy on sale for $30. Um, it's normally $70, but I got it for $30. I'll let you know right now that the quality is shit. Like, this quality sucks. I, it's like, I could just feel it, like, and... Like, it just feels so, like, terrible. Um, so let's talk about the, the cons before we talk about the cons. I do not like this padding right here. I think it looks like shit. It makes you look, like, bulky. Um, maybe you like that look. I don't like it, you know? I don't like that bulky look. I think that's the only con I have. And, and the other con is, um, feels a tad bit, like, tight. Like, I know a leather jacket's supposed to fit tight, like, if you want it, you know what I mean? But, like, it's like a weird tight, though. It's not like... Well, it's tight, it fits me good, you know, because I like tight-fitting clothing a lot. It, it, it feels like it rounds my shoulders like this. That's what the feeling it gives me is like when I'm, when I'm gonna be like this for the rest of the day. It's super weird. So, um, the pros though, the pros. It has like a cool aesthetic look, you know? Um, I'm glad it has a zipper right here. They all usually do, but this one. Uh, the zips, the zips, people say, they're not YYK zippers, you know, really good quality, but I do not care. Like, I'm not gonna be zipping up this thing when I wear it. Um, I like this little button right here. I think this is pretty dope. Overall, the details, you know, it has this as well. Um, it has the zippers on the sleeves. I think those look sick. Overall, it, it, it looks cool, you know? It looks really cool. The, like, the main concern is this right here and, like, how weirdly tight it fits. I, I just don't like that. And on the back, it also has, like, these little, like, pads as well right here. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm keeping this. Um, overall, if I were you, if you want, like, a really high-quality leather jacket, I would highly suggest All Saints. I've heard nothing but good things from them. Um, and maybe uh, later in the future, I'm definitely going to order a jacket from them. Probably the Taro, the Taro leather jacket. I think that one's dope. They're on the pricier side, though. Like, their, their leather jackets without a sale is, like, $500. So if you want to buy one, you're going to have to buy it like on sale. They have like these mid-season sales, 30, 40, 50% off all the time. So you should just wait for those. But uh, overall, I, if you want like a, if you're on a budget and you want the look, you could get away with this. The cool thing about leather jackets is no one can tell from far away, like usually, you know, whether it's a high quality jacket or not. Like it just, it's a leather jacket, you know, it just, it is what it is. Um, I just like, I wanted to try it out and I thought, you know, why not take some pictures with it, do a review on it as well. Um, I just got like a week ago and I only wore it once, so I'm still going to see if I want to keep it or not. It was only $30, so it's not like I paid that much for it, but without $30, I could just buy like another shirt or something that I could actually love to wear, you know? Like, I don't love wearing this jacket, like, so I'm thinking that the, the All Saints jackets will fit really good, because from the reviews I've seen and like, the way people hold them and like, they put it on, like, it actually molds to your body and it's like, it's real leather obviously too. I think that I would like a lot more. I just hope it fits me because I'm small, man. An extra small might not even fit me in that, in All Saints. I don't know. But yeah, overall, if you're on a budget, definitely could get it. I think this is sold out now, but they're always like, you know, restock. They always, they come out with these every year. Um, there's actually another one on their site right now. If I, if I'm like, if it's still there, it was $30 last time I checked or 27, but it's all black. It's like an all black, all like everything here is black, even the zips. So it's pretty cool. You can try that one out. But for most people, you guys might like this. Like you might, you might do good with it. For, for me, I'm looking for a very specific look for like a jacket and the way it feels, you know, if I'm going to buy a leather jacket. I might keep this in my not, I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll see. But yeah, that's my review on this. Uh, before I end this video, I wanted to make, a, I made a quick cinematic for you guys of me rocking this jacket. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy that and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all.